Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending where you are in this world. This is Hedging Lee with an evening update for Bitcoin. Last morning we left Bitcoin with this chart. And there's so many sub-labels. I'm going to get rid of these labels for now. But we thought there might be a fractal opportunity. But for now, let's see how the price during the day has progressed. I had not looked at Bitcoin all day during the day. It's been a very busy day for me. Now here, we have a few uh, options. Remember, in a correction, there are 36 possible corrective combinations. So, Catranche Elliott wave count corrections is very, very difficult. One in 36 is a chance you have. That's less than 3%. Okay? But it doesn't keep us from trying, right? Heck no. So, here we go. This one could be ABC. We could have an A here, ABC, B here, and then we can see a C wave down. Similar to some, uh, one of the uh, um, pathways that we discussed in the morning as well. So from here, we'll see one, two, three, four, five. Five waves down, A, B, C. Okay. Okay, so now the other possibility that I'm seeing is again, I want to draw some lines. Draw a line here. Okay. So instead of a triangle, this to me looks more like what? When you have a channel that's pointing downwards, if you have a triangle that is pointing, anything that is pointing downwards in the pattern, as this is angled downwards to the right, it is a bullish flag. This is what you call a bull flag. And if you label this bull flag further, it can be labeled as A, B, C, D, and E. So there would be a three wave down like this. And wave forward right there. I'm making this my primary count. Let me take a snapshot of this. I move it to the right so I don't have to include any of this on the snapshot that I include for the charts for the summary for every blog. And if this is the case, then the impulse will start from here like this. We'll move these to the right because time has already elapsed and this will give the count to be like this. Move this back. We need to. Extend that a little more. Okay. So then we'll see an impulse starting from here, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and that would be a gorgeous A, B, C, D, E rectangular channeled bull flag.
And now let's go back to what we were talking about this morning on the rule of alternation. So we have a symmetrical triangle here. And then here we have a bold flag rectangular channel, but still ABCDE. The fact that it's not of the same type kind of in a repeat on a triangle format would suffice in this case the rule of alternation. And that rule of alternation between wave 2 and 4 states that if wave 2 is of this type, wave 4 must be of a different type and vice versa. They usually cannot be of same types for both wave 2 and 4. Usually it means if wave 2 is simple, wave 4 will be complex and vice versa. Okay. <coughs> so this morning I also spoke of how Bitcoin Cash might be projecting. So let's take a look at that quickly and see if they might be going in phase or out of phase. Hold on a second. Now right, here's Bitcoin Cash. <coughs> so Bitcoin Cash, look, from the time frame of November 17th until today, Is it is doing a triangle correction. Okay, you can count this as A, B, C, D, E as well. Okay, so from November 17th to today, now you go to Bitcoin from November 16th. Here. So today is on a downward incline as well. So do you call that inverse? Do you call that phasic or non-phasic? I would say they are pretty much in phase. They're both declining. This is in the form of a flag. Bitcoin Cash, you know, about the start, same starting point, is in the form of a declining in the form of a symmetrical triangle. So this is important. What I'm now thinking and forward discerning is once um, price, get rid of this for now, starts exploding up this way, okay? Sooner or later, this will happen, I believe. And imagine if that coincided with this. That would be pretty interesting. That would be Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash phasic with each other when their cycles have now overlapped and they're moving concurrently or slightly concur congruently. So once again, from the uh, end of the 16th of November to today, we have an ABCD E pattern on a rect bullish rectangle pointing downwards and is about to break out after it finishes maybe one more low, that being the E wave. And in Bitcoin, we have A, B, C, D, E triangle. That's almost done. And I believe Bitcoin Cash, rather, I'm saying not Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash will break out of this pattern and start impulsing upwards ahead, slightly ahead of Bitcoin. Because Bitcoin might have one more low to do. Maybe not. Maybe Bitcoin will breach this and start impulsing from here. And then maybe more coordinated, more in phase than I might have thought which is perfectly fine with me. This is pretty cool. If this does play out, and they both to go back in phase, that again gives a confirmation showing that what happened before when they were out of phase, inverse, prior, when 
Bitcoin was falling and Bitcoin Cash was rising. A lot of rumors and innuendos and fantasies came out. <laughs> okay? We're trying to explain it and rationalize it out. Meanwhile, a technical analyst would simply say news or events or rumors or whatever you want to call it shall arrive to justify the forecast. Now, the if the forecast that I've put that both Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash, the Bitcoin will rise and Bitcoin Cash will rise, not in one-to-one -one lockstep, that'll be unusual. That'll be weird. It wouldn't happen like that. Maybe Bitcoin Cash will go a little ahead of Bitcoin, seems like it, but they will clearly be in phase. They will be fa in phasic mode. I'm just curious as to what news event and rumor will come out to justify that phasic action, price action between Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. So I thought that was pretty important to lay out and put it on the table for consideration. Let's see what happens overnight. <coughs> I do know, I'm pretty confident about this, there is no double top. And also, this isn't going to crash. And I already explained pretty clearly this morning as to why. Within the background setting of just about every altcoin out there, having an extremely bullish, crouching tiger-like setup, Bitcoin will not crash. I can't see that happening. And those three species of altcoin patterns, I've, I've spoken about this so much, you should all know this, the bullish downward pointing symmetrical triangle, cup and handle, and the jaws of wealth. Those three species of chart patterns is extremely common across the altcoin cryptosphere. Every altcoin will most likely fit into one of those 99% will be able to categorize, profiled into one of those types of chart patterns. And each one is bullish, extremely bullish. And we're already seeing signs of altcoins popping up and surging up and exploding up. And those kinds of explosions of price upward mo movements will become a lot more common, like popcorn pop popping. Before I leave, I want to share with you this chart, that of BitShares. I had recommended it down here at around four and a half to five cents. Okay. <coughs> and I think what, what we are seeing here, so at four and a half, five cents, it went almost as high as 10 cents, I think we're going to be on the shorter term at around 11 cents or so, and we'll probably correct and go back to maybe 15 cents or so. And I have as high as maybe 19, 20, 21 cents. And the reason <coughs> why I bring this up is I want to kind of emphasize another, um, how, how should I say, extremely strong um, conviction that I have. <coughs> I've said before that if you own 100,000 coins to 2.5 million coins and you hold it for the years to come and to me right now bit shares is not a, is a coin that you buy and you almost don't sell. <coughs> the reason is my ultimate target for bit shares is three hundred forty-two dollars. I've been called crazy for that. I've been told by others, do you know how many coins are out there on bit shares? What the float is? I am aware fully, so that'll be quite a, about trillions of dollars, let's say, trillion dollars. 
But that's not what's important. What's important will be sentiment and demand, not the float. You're looking at it backwards. That's looking at a kaleidoscope, telescope backwards. You're thinking small that way. I don't know if you saw the recent release of the Planet of the Apes. There's one funny monkey fellow <coughs> who's looking through the binoculars but the wrong way. That's exactly what First looking at the number of total number of coins is like doing and then trying to confer from a Newtonian perspective why three hundred and forty two dollars per coin is impossible. But anyways, <coughs> hundred thousand shares at three forty two per coin will give you thirty mil thirty four million dollars. Two and a half million coins right now at three hundred and forty two dollars will give you eight hundred and eighty five million dollars. This is why I've said owning those shares in that range today could bring about a situation, if my forecast is correct, where many future generations, centuries to come from now, will bless your name. Your future generations will bless your name for all of the wealth that you will give to them as inheritances in the range of 34 million to almost a billion dollars. <coughs> so this is one of the situations where let's say you didn't go out for dinner tonight, take the money and buy some bitches. All right? <coughs> and, and I've seen some people who take the steam dollars that they earn on their steam it accounts and they buy some bitches. I'm doing that. Very little few dollars. But I've amassed already quite a bit of bitches, but I'm going to incrementally add tiny bits. You can look at my wallet. I, I transfer out all my steam dollars that I earn. Instead of converting it to steam power, I go get me some more bitches. That's a great dollar cost averaging way to do it. <coughs> I think Andreas Antonopoulos has one of the most complicated, sophisticated buying strategy. And that is he buys on Mondays. <laughs> he just buys on Mondays. Not Tuesday, not a good day. Wednesdays are not a good days for him. Thursday, nah, weekends is too busy. He buys on Mondays. Maybe you, you, you were gonna, you're on a diet. Or maybe you just quit smoking. That'll save you maybe three to five hundred bucks a month, if, depending on how much you smoke. You can take the money and buy some bitches, bitches, and put it away and sock it away. I used to smoke three packs a day. <coughs> and back in 2000, I quit cold turkey. I think I'd be dead by now if I didn't. And one of the thoughts that came to me at that time, at that time, Cigarettes were two dollars or something like that. To me, I kept saying to myself, "It's like a car payment." <laughs> so, so you don't have to buy hundred thousand coins all at once. Just little by little, incrementally add. But the conviction that I have is, if you buy it now and you sock it away and hold it. I think many, many blessings will be put on your name by your future gener generations. And you might be thinking, but Hedgin, what about what if Bitcoin really does this cycle level crash, as I had been talk, as I had talked about in the uh, big picture in the assessment a while back? I think Bit shares might survive that a hell of a lot better than other altcoins. <coughs> especially if the government suddenly decides to want to come in and start taking over and, and, and controlling the centralized exchanges. I mean, it took IRS zero effort to extract all the information that they wanted from Coinbase. 
how difficult do you think it will be for the SEC or the IRS or whoever it might be to come in and start regulating every centralized exchange? Can you imagine the mad dash for the exit from the se centralized exchanges into the decentralized exchanges? I'm not saying that's what's going to happen. I'm just trying to fantasize one possibility. So, in my opinion, I believe Pictures is in a very prime position to reward many, many of us very handsomely. It already has, with over 100% gains already. <coughs> And this simply right now is finishing up a bowl. It's got one third more to go. Okay, beautiful. This should rise up a little more, I think. There you go. And once this is done, handle will be formed. And after that, watch out. It'll skywalker significantly. So I've now combined this with two coins as a uh, included pictures with the evening update. But I just thought this was too important to just let go for now. And I wanted to just reiterate it. Okay, so if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I hope this was informative and helpful to you. And if, um, as usual, I hope I have earned the right to ask you for your consideration for an upvote, follow, and re-steam of this blog. Thank you. And in Bitcoin, we have ABCDE triangle that's almost done. And I believe Bitcoin Cash, rather, I'm so not Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash will break out of this pattern and start impulsing upwards ahead, slightly ahead of Bitcoin. Because Bitcoin might have one more low to do. Maybe not. Maybe Bitcoin will breach this and start impulsing from here. And then maybe more coordinated, more in phase than I might have thought which is perfectly fine with me. This is pretty cool. If this does play out, and they both to go back in phase, that again gives a confirmation showing that what happened before when they were out of phase, inverse, prior, when Bitcoin was falling, and Bitcoin Cash was rising, a lot of rumors and innuendos and fantasies came out. <laughs> okay? We're trying to explain it and rationalize it out. Meanwhile, a technical analyst would simply say news or events or rumors or whatever you want to call it shall arrive to justify the forecast. Now, the if the forecast that I've put that both Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash, the Bitcoin will rise and Bitcoin Cash will rise, not in one-to-one -one lockstep. That'll be unusual. That'll be weird. It wouldn't happen like that. Maybe Bitcoin Cash will go a little ahead of Bitcoin. Seems like it. But they will clearly be in phase. They will be in phasic mode. I'm just curious as to what news event and rumor will come out to justify that basic action, price action between Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. So I thought that was pretty important to lay out and put it on the table for consideration. Let's see what happens overnight. <coughs> I do know I'm pretty confident about this. There is no double top. And also, this isn't going to crash. And I already explained 
pretty clearly this morning as to why. Within the background setting of just about every altcoin out there, having an extremely bullish, crouching tiger-like setup, Bitcoin will not crash. I can't see that happening. And those three species of altcoin patterns have so then we'll see an impulse starting from here, one, two, three, four, five. Okay? And that would be a gorgeous A, B, C, D, E rectangular channeled bull flag. And now let's go back to what we were talking about this morning on the rule of alternation. So we have a symmetrical triangle here. And then here we have a bull flag rectangular channel, but still A, B, C, D, E. The fact that it's not of the same type kind of in a repeat on a triangle format would suffice in this case, the rule of alternation. And that rule of alternation between wave two and four states that if wave two is of this type, wave four must be of a different type and vice versa. They usually cannot be of same types for both wave two and four. Usually it means if wave two is simple, wave four will be complex and vice versa. Okay. <coughs> so this morning I also spoke of how Bitcoin Cash might be projecting. So let's take a look at that quickly and see if they might be going in phase or out of phase. Hold on a second. All right, here's Bitcoin Cash. <coughs> so Bitcoin Cash, look, from the time frame of November 17th until today, is it is doing a triangle correction. Okay, you can count this as A, B, C, D, E as well. Okay, so from November 17th to today, now you go to Bitcoin from November 16th, 16th here to today is on a downward incline as well. So do you call that inverse? Do you call that phasic or non-phasic? I would say they are pretty much in phase. They're both declining. This is in the form of a flag. Bitcoin Cash, you know, about the start, same starting point, is in the form of a declining in the form of a symmetrical triangle. So this is important. What I'm now thinking and forward discerning is once um, price get rid of this for now. If you own 100,000 coins to 2.5 million coins and you hold it for the years to come. And to me right now, BitShares is, not a, is a coin that you buy and you almost don't sell. <coughs> the reason is my ultimate target for BitShares is $342. I've been called crazy for that. I've been told by others, do you know how many coins are out there on BitShares, what the float is? I am aware, fully. So that'll be quite a, about trillions of dollars, let's say, trillion dollars. But that's not what's important. What's important will be sentiment and demand, not the float. You're looking at it backwards. That's looking at a kaleidoscope telescope backwards. You're thinking small that way. I don't know if you saw the recent release of the Planet of the Apes. There's one funny monkey fellow <coughs> who's looking through the binoculars but the wrong way. That's exactly what first looking at the number of total number of coins is like doing and then trying to confer from a Newtonian perspective. 
why $340 per coin is impossible. But anyways, <clears throat> 100,000 shares at 342 per coin will give you $30 mil $34 million. Two and a half million coins right now at $342 will give you $885 million. This is why I've said owning those shares in that range today could bring about a situation if my forecast is correct where many future generations centuries to come from now will bless your name your future generations will bless your name for all of the wealth that you will give to them as inheritances in the range of 34 million to almost a billion dollars <clears throat> so this is one of the situations where let's say you didn't go out for dinner tonight take the money and buy some bitches all right <clears throat> and and I've seen some people who take this <clears throat> I've said before that if you own 100,000 coins to two and a half million coins and you hold it for the years to come. And to me, right now, bit shares is, not a, is a coin that you buy and you almost don't sell. <coughs> the reason is my ultimate target for bit shares is $342. I've been called crazy for that. I've been told by others, do you know how many coins are out there? on bit shares, what the float is. I am aware, fully. So that'll be quite a, about trillions of dollars, let's say, trillion dollars. But that's not what's important. What's important will be sentiment and demand, not the float. You're looking at it backwards. That's looking at a kaleidoscope, telescope backwards. You're thinking small that way. I don't know if you saw the recent release of the Planet of the Apes. There's one funny monkey fellow <coughs> who's looking through the binoculars but the wrong way. That's exactly what first looking at the number of total number of coins is like doing and then trying to confer from a Newtonian perspective why $342 per coin is impossible. But anyways, <coughs> 100,000 shares at 342 per coin will give you $30 mil $34 million. Two and a half million coins right now at $342 will give you $885 million. This is why I've said owning those shares in that range today could bring about a situation if my forecast is correct, where many future generations, centuries to come from now, will bless your name. Your future generations will bless your name for all of the wealth that you will give to them as inheritances in the range of 34 million to almost a billion dollars. <coughs> so this is one of the situations where let's say you didn't go out for dinner tonight take the money and buy some bitches all right <coughs> rationalize it out meanwhile a technical analyst would simply say news or events or rumors or whatever you want to call it shall arrive to justify the forecast now if the forecast that I've put that both Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash, that Bitcoin will rise and Bitcoin Cash will rise, not in one-to-one -one lockstep, that'll be unusual. That'll be weird. It wouldn't happen like that. 
Maybe Bitcoin Cash will go a little ahead of Bitcoin, seems like it, but they will clearly be in phase. They will be fa in phasic mode. I'm just curious as to what news event and rumor will come out to justify that phasic action, price action between Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. So I thought that was pretty important to lay out and put it on the table for consideration. Let's see what happens overnight. <coughs> I do know, I'm pretty confident about this, there is no double top. And also, this isn't going to crash. And I already explained pretty clearly this morning as to why. Within the background setting of just about every altcoin out there, having an extremely bullish, crouching tiger-like setup, Bitcoin will not crash. I can't see that happening. And those three species of altcoin patterns, I've, I've spoken about this so much, you should all know this, the bullish downward pointing symmetrical triangle, cup and handle, and the jaws of wealth. Those three species of chart patterns is extremely common across the altcoin cryptosphere. Every altcoin will most likely fit into one of those 99%. will be able to categorize, profiled into one of those types of chart patterns. And each one is bullish, extremely bullish. And we're already seeing signs of altcoins popping up and surging up and exploding up. And those kinds of explosions of price upward mo movements will become a lot more common, like popcorn pop popping. Before I leave, I want to share with you this chart, that of BitShares. I had recommended it down here at around four and a half to five cents. Okay. 